Hi, I'm Paul Dye with Kit Planes Magazine. We're here in Hollister, California, taking a look at a really interesting airplane. It's not really an airplane, it's a motor glider. This is a Sonex motor glider. It comes out of the Sonex factory in, in uh, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And what you're going to find is it looks a lot like a Sonex. What we have here is a Sonex fuselage and a YX tail. But as we move on out, you're going to see that there's something unique about these wings. We're not to the wingtip yet. We're still not to the wingtip. There's a wingtip in sight. Here's the wingtip. So this is a motor glider. You can fly one of these on very, very small amounts of horsepower. It works really well with an Aero-V engine, which is about 65 to 80 horsepower engine. Um, and uh, you can take it up, shut things down, and go soaring. Now, you're not going to win any competitions for high performance sailplanes with this thing. Uh, but if you just want to go have real fun soaring, um, this is a great idea. You can build a Xenos very inexpensively. The entire kit with motor is less than $40,000. So you can finish it up very, very simply. It's the, the legendary inexpensive airplane that you can go have a lot of fun with. A few little things to tip it off that it's a glider. Total energy probe right here. Gives you very, very accurate rates of climb or rates of descent when you're looking for thermals. It's the Y tail that John Monette designed, so it's the V tail like you'd have on a Bonanza, plus a little teeny rudder down here, which helps with, um, with uh, stopping the Dutch roll. Very, very simple airplane, all aluminum, simple canopy, no flaps. You don't really need flaps. It's got spoilers, just like most gliders do, and again, the long wing tips. Now what makes this particular one special and interesting, and the reason we're all the way out here in California, is because if you take a look at this cowling, you're going to notice something very, very unique and interesting. If we look underneath, there's no exhaust pipes. We look up here, there's no cooling inlets. This does not have an Aero-V engine, and it doesn't have any kind of an internal combustion engine. This is an electric motor glider. So it's powered with the motor and batteries from a zero motorcycle, which puts out easily 65 horsepower. And what makes this fascinating is that we've been looking at, at electric airplanes developing, and they're always about 20 years in the future. And there are ultralights that have been flying with electric motors, and, and, and people have a lot of fun with them. But it's really been hard to find a sport plane that you can actually do something with and, and go and recreate. This is the first airplane we've seen that can put, you can put two people in at gross weight and go fly for an hour or more on a battery charge. And the reason that works is because it's a glider. You can take off, you can fly around at very low power settings, or you can just shut the motor off completely and go soar when you find some thermals. So it's a very, very effective way for recreational flying with electric power. The amazing thing about this is that it is truly a viable kit for home builders. This doesn't require a PhD in electrical engineering to put together. We're going to be looking at how that's done in the magazine for the next couple months and show you that it's actually a fairly simple job to put in the motor, put in the batteries, and wire it up. All the batteries are forward of the firewall. It's a very, very safe configuration. So we're really excited about this airplane and we hope you follow us along with it.